We are going to talk a little bit about the extradition of Julian Assange, which was uh, ordered by the British government uh, this past week as well. And first congressperson out of the gate to defend Julian Assange was not AOC, not Rashida Tlaib, not Ilhan Omar, although to be fair, Omar did recently tweet out support for him. Um, but only after it came from our favorite bottom in Congress, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Uh, Marjorie, <laughs> Marjorie Taylor Greene tweets out those here. Ice chips. Right, exactly. If we really care about the First Amendment, then we should care about Julian Assange. Freedom of press is the protection of, of the ability to expose the truth and publish it. This should always be protected, and this freedom should always be handled with the most respect. If they are upset over the Khashoggi killing, then they should be upset over Julian Assange. Is the American press afraid to speak out against the U.S. extradition of Julian Assange? Is it because it's not another government persecution or attack on a journalist, but yet our own? That wasn't a very well-worded question, but we get the yeah, sentiment. The ruling sense. regime in America persecutes their enemies in order to strike fear in anyone who dares to expose the corruption and stand up against it. What happens when everyone becomes too afraid to tell the truth and publish it? Silence will protect evil. Well, and this is where I say we're living in the upside down. Like, what the f what is right and left anymore? What the fuck does that mean when this deranged right winger is the only person with the balls to speak up about Julian Assange. Bernie's not saying anything. I has is he? I haven't heard him say anything about that. I haven't heard anything. No. AOC, the squad. No. Nope. Nope. No. Like I said, nope. Omar did put out a tweet saying that we shouldn't be prosecuting him after Marjorie Taylor Greene, and I have a feeling it had a lot to do with the fact that Marjorie Taylor Greene beat her to the punch, and she realized that hey, this uh, is fucked the up. The right is winning the argument. <laughs> yeah. when, what are we doing here? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, and look, it's getting to the point where, like, yeah, I mean, we feel a need because we disagree with Marjorie Taylor Greene on so many issues to sort of qualify her as a deranged right. lunatic right. before right. we defend right. her. Right. I'm sorry. It's getting to the point right now, like, she spoke out against the $40 billion to Ukraine in weapons, which is only going to result in the violent deaths of more Ukrainian people. That's the only effect that's going to have. Um, and she spoke out on this issue. I'm sorry, freedom, uh, freedom of the press and anti-war politics are pillars of any sort of left politics. Right. And so she's got two of them. Now, look, the squad in theory has, you know, health care, education, right? I mean, in theory, right? They, they have that. They speak out in that way. But, but that but makes it it's basically level. They're as useless as an asshole right here. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But like the, the point is, it's getting hard to the point where you can you can even justify qualifying Marjorie Taylor Greene in that way. Because you know what? Like, if she's the only one speaking out against this war and she's the only one speaking out against the extradition, I'm sorry, that puts her on almost even footing in terms of usefulness. It really does. It like, does. Yeah, I mean, come on. These well, are not minor issues. Especially because she belongs to a, a party that actually wins elections. Right. And she'll have some power. Whereas she'll, she'll actually be in a position to do something with these ideas. Right. Where, 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 are, the, where are the fucking Democrats going to be after 2024? They're going to they're gonna be fucking running the local municipal uh, parking meter foundation. <laughs> like, what the, yeah, the right. fuck are they? What, what political power are they going to have left after that election? <laughs> the, the, yeah. I mean, now, look, it. it we should we be if, if it makes our audience happy here we will say that like look marjorie taylor green and every member of the gop voted no on anti-price gouging measures for oil companies this week like yeah she's sure, horrible on sure, that stuff sure sure she's but she's horrible on that stuff she's as horrible on that stuff as the democrats are on this stuff right the democrats are pro-war in ukraine and the democrats are uh, you know look we talk about the you know um you know, uh, the how American democracy is so imperiled. You know, they talk about January 6th and all this. That was on the Bill Maher show, too, that, that they talked about. It, it was the Democratic Party that rigged two primaries in a row. It was the Democratic Party who couldn't count their own votes during the yeah, Iowa caucuses. Yeah, Just yeah. so happens to be right. the night when the one candidate who they've been trying to stop for the last six years was about to win. All of a sudden, the votes disappeared. I don't think that's a coincidence. I'm sorry. Call me what you want. All right. Um, 
And they are strong arming these social media companies to throw people off their platforms if they say the wrong things. I'm sorry, this is subversion of the democratic process. This shows bone deep contempt for the democratic process. And so they're yeah. terrible on these issues. They're terrible well, on well, these well, issues. That, well, they're as where... bad on these issues as the Republicans are on social welfare issues. You know, yeah. it is a wash in that sense. It, it it puts it puts people who are for free speech, freedom of expression, who find the idea of of uh, platforms like PayPal and GoFundMe shutting people down whose opinions they disagree with. For people who find that terrifying, you're you're given a Sophie's choice here in in elections. I mean, if you are going to vote for either one of these parties. It's 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 not a no brainer which one you vote for. Like if if you want somebody who's going to pass legislation that is going to force companies like GoFundMe to accept all comers, barring you know our traditional, it, unless they're doing or saying something that's already illegal, you have to allow them to have their fundraiser. The Democrats aren't going to do that. The Democrats are going to keep going in this direction before you know it your fucking bank account's going to be frozen because you tweeted the wrong thing like this it's it's a serious issue they are not a party that stands for uh freedom of expression quite the opposite we just had these emails leaked showing that their disinformation board had reached out to twitter to collaborate on censoring information that they didn't want out there yes that and you, that in plain English, we're not is getting fascism. that from the Republicans. That's fascism. That, that is fascism. The state sure. partnering with right. giant corporate yep. interests to control the dissemination of information and stomp out the voices that they don't like. That is fascism. There's a that's the only word for that. Only word for that. And now they're talking about, you know, we have to we have to go and vote blue to save democracy this year. It just shows you, it just shows you. What we said the second those 2020 primaries were over, which is this country is finished, no matter what. We said that all throughout the campaign. Yeah, okay, vote for Biden if you want. It's not going to fucking do anything. The country's done. And that's being proven right now because notice the same people who told us we had to vote for Biden to save democracy are now saying democracy is more imperiled now than it was back then. And yeah, we have what, to vote what blue happened? I because we it's gonna, on a continuum. I thought we were saving it. Right. I thought, we I thought we saved it. I thought that was the whole point, Joe but Biden's no, you didn't save it. We're reaching out to the country, I thought. <laughs> because none of the conditions were reversed by electing Joe Biden, as we told you they would not be because they cannot be. Right. And and so, you know, well, that's well, what's I going mean, this on is, here. This is Jimmy Dore's argument. That's what he keeps saying. You know, you you keep voting for these two corporate parties, and then with the one doesn't deliver, then people go and vote for the other and nothing really changes. And you really can't argue with that. No, J yeah. Jim, I, I know you think sometimes we go a little too far on this tack. So you have any thoughts on this? I mean, with Marjorie Taylor Greene, I mean, a stopped clock is right twice a day. I mean, good, good for her. She said the right things. I don't know how much, how much of that is virtue and how much is that of trolling the left, trolling the Dems. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but uh, the thing I the thing I mean the reason yeah, the but you have a I would, lot of establishment Republicans who would well, not all of them kind like of none of the other yeah, Republicans I mean even Mitch McConnell is not on that page right yeah exactly so that's what makes me think that you know it's more than just a stopped clock because she didn't just stumble ass backwards into this this was obviously a conscious decision to stake out a position that is deeply unpopular among both major parties yeah and the only the only places you really see that kind of courage now are on the right, you know, from her and there was the Massey guys, you know, voted against the $40 billion as well. I mean, it's like, like I said, don't get me wrong. It's more an indictment of the left than it is praise of the right. Like it's, uh, I'm, I'm coming at right. this more from right. the right. 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 point that like, how could the left cede this ground to people like Marjorie Taylor Greene? Uh, well, it's easy to see that ground when, you know, you, the lobbyists come in, they start writing checks and you get a little uh, pack money coming your way. And, you know, now all of a sudden you don't see it. You know, <laughs> you're not staking a stand on principle anymore. You know, you're just going along to get along. Please clap.